Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Quick Bible Study and Reflection. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the resurrection of Christ. So without much ado, let's begin our Quick Bible Q&A. Question number one, in what sum was the resurrection of Christ foretold? For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, meaning the grave, neither wilt thou suffer thine only one to see corruption. Psalm 16.10 Question number two, in what way was Jonah a type of Christ? For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12.40 Question number three, in what plain words did Christ foretell his resurrection? From that time forth begun, Jesus show unto his disciples how he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again in the third day. Matthew 16, 21. And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, the Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and the third day he shall be raised again. Question number four. When asked by the Jews for a sign of his Messiahship, what did Jesus say? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. John 2. 19. Question number five. To what temple did he refer? Then said the, then said the Jews, Forty-six years was this temple in building. And wilt thou tear it up in three days? But he spake of, of temple, the temple of his body. John 2, 20, 21. After his resurrection, what effect had this prediction upon his disciples? When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus said. John 2.22 Question number seven. How did the chief priests and Pharisees seek to prevent the fulfillment of Christ's words concerning his resurrection? Now the next day that followed, the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that this deceiver said, While he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulcher be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal away and steal him away, and said unto the people, He is risen from the dead. So the last error shall be worse than the first. Matthew 27, 62-64 Question number 8. How did Pilate comply with their request? Pilate said unto them, Ye have a what's. Go your way, make it sure as ye can. So they went and made sepulchre sure, selling the stone and setting a watch. Matthew 27, 65, 66. Question number 9. How futile was all this? In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment as white as snow. And for fear of him the keepers did shake, and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He was not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. Matthew 28, 1-7 Question number 10. Was it possible for Christ to be holden of death? 
him being delivered by the determinate counsel and for knowledge of God ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain whom God hath raised having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be holden of it Acts 2 23 24 question number 11 how does Paul speak of the resurrection of Christ for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures 1 Corinthians 15 3 to 4 question number 12 how does the apostle saw Christ after he was risen he was seen of Cephas then of the twelve after that he was seen of the five hundred brethren at once after that he was seen of James then all the apostles and last of all he was seen of me also as one of born out of due time 1st Corinthians 15 8 what importance is attached to Christ's resurrection if Christ be not risen then is our preaching vain and your faith is vain ye are yet in your sins then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are Paris 1st Corinthians 15 14 to 18 question number 14 what positive assurance of the resurrection is given but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept 1st Corinthians 15 20 question number 15 what great truth therefore follows as in Adam all die even so Christ shall be made alive question number 16 what cheering message was Christ sent to his people touching his resurrection I am he that liveth and was dead <clears throat> and behold I am alive forevermore amen <clears throat> and of all the keys of hell and of death revelation 1 10 question number 17 what is the measure of the power which believers may experience in their daily lives that ye may know the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead Ephesians 1 18 to 20 and finally what Christian ordinance has been given as a memorial of Christ's burial and resurrection the answer is baptism the symbol of the new birth that is found in Romans 6 3 to 5 so there you have friends a quick Bible study on the resurrection of Jesus Christ I hope you have learned something in this episode and this is all we have in today's episode of quick Bible study and reflection see you again the next one God bless and keep safe everyone